Welcome back. Last season, the Maryland women's lacrosse team made an uncharacteristic early exit in the NCAA tournament and failed to win a conference title for the first time in 15 seasons under Kathy Reese. Big Ten title on the line in College Park. Eighth ranked Maryland hosting number two Northwestern late first quarter of the game. Libby May bounces one in first of a career high seven goals for her today. Maryland up 4-3 after one. Second quarter. Look at those fans. Packed house today in College Park. Grace Griffin to Hannah Lubecker. Shakes off the defender and scores Maryland on top 8-4. to four. Just before the half, here come the Terps on a breakaway. This time it's Lubecker dishing it to May and into the net. The Terps take down the Wildcats 15-9. And for the first time since 2019, Kathy Reese's squad is the Big Ten regular season champion. I'm just so proud. I want them to believe in themselves, and I think this season, I'd say all the time, is such a journey, right? Like, there's ups and downs, and we're learning, and we're growing, and we've gone through so much. They had their season taken away, and then had the limited schedule, and they've just gone through so many different challenges and handled a lot of adversity. To really, you know, come out and execute and, and play fearless and something I'm just really proud of. We've already said it so many times. We said it in the middle of the field. We said it multiple times in the locker room. Like, this is just the beginning. Like, enjoy this feeling, but, like, tomorrow we have another game to prepare for, and then we have two tournaments that we have our eyes on and the number one ranked Maryland men's lacrosse team in action right now looking to close out their regular season undefeated today at Johns Hopkins at last check Maryland leads 7-1 in the second quarter how about the number two men's lax team in the nation also in the DMV right here in the district Georgetown taking on St. John's at home today Dylan Watson led all scores with four goals he leads the nation averaging just under four goals a game TJ Haley and Connor Morin both added hat tricks. Georgetown pours it on big time today with another big win. Hoyas win 23-6. In the MLB, Orioles ace pitcher John Means is done for the year. Means announced today on Twitter that he will undergo Tommy John surgery. The 28-year-old made just two starts this year. He was an all-star in 2019 and tossed a no-hitter last May. Jordan Lyles will likely be the top pitcher in the O's rotation now. So the Nationals dealing with some injuries of their own and just over a couple weeks into the season, they've now dropped down to last place in the NL East. Hosting the Giants today, Nats pitcher Aaron Sanchez. He played for San Francisco last year, but he's in a 4-0 hole in the fifth. Runners at the corners, it gets worse. Jock Peterson singles to shallow left. That brings Austin Slater home to put the Giants up 5-0. But it wasn't all bad for the Nats today, go to the bottom of the fifth. Catcher Riley Adams gets a good piece of this one, and that goes into the bullpen. Bounces down for a home run. Nice souvenir for that guy right there. First homer of the season for Adams, but the Nats lose this game 5-2. to two. They'll try to avoid being swept tomorrow. In the basketball transfer portal, Mezzi Offerum is leaving the mount for James Madison, entering his fifth season, the Germantown native and Georgetown prep alum. Well, join the Dukes. Offerum was named to the third team all NEC squad this year, averaging over 11 points and five rebounds per game. Before his two seasons at the Mount, he played two years at GW. Offerum will join JMU for its first season in the Sun Belt. Well, we've got just about everything in this sports cast today, it seems. There's a huge rugby tournament in Northern Virginia this morning. Jake Rom has more from Leesburg. Segra Field in Leesburg, the site of the 2022 Gonzaga Rugby Classic. Some of the best high school rugby clubs in the nation coming together this morning to see who is the best. Local teams from Vienna, Loudoun and Gonzaga competing today, as well as a handful of other nationally ranked rugby clubs all up the East Coast. Tough start of the day for Loudoun Rugby. Ran into a brick wall early called Aspatuck. The team from Connecticut bringing their talents to Nova, blanking Loudoun 54 to nothing. The host of the tournament up next, Gonzaga, top five team in the nation, having their way early with Loyola. The boys in purple winning big time. 36 to 12 was the final. The last local team though, Vienna Rugby, just punched their ticket to the national tournament last weekend and came out punching today. Led by 17 early, but ended up winning on tiebreaker over Staples. Four rugby teams in the top 10 nationally in this tournament, eight total in the top 20. And no matter the outcome this weekend, these kids enjoy the stiff competition. This is the preeminent East Eastern Seaboard uh, tournament with some fantastic rugby teams, both single school and club teams. So it's fun to really watch that high level uh, 
you know, top 10, top 15 uh, rugby teams in the nation. This is awesome, dude. This is the greatest opportunity to prepare us for nationals, you know, game after game after game. This is where professionals play. It's, it's awesome just to experience this. Is, I mean, no, nobody else in the country is doing this, so it's awesome. So this is a two-day rugby event today, day one. Only group play round robin matches with every team having a chance to advance to the knockout stages on Sunday. That's going to do it from Segra Field here in Leesburg for WDVM 25 Sports. I'm Jake Rom. Thank you, Jake. Well, I told you we have everything today. Finishing with some soccer, DC United plays at 7:30 tonight at New England. Will be the first game since Hernan Losada was fired this week. And in the NWSL Challenge Cup, Washington Spirit draws with the North Carolina Courage at two apiece. That is all for a loaded sportscast today. We'll be right back with more news and weather right after this.